Ten guns everybody should own, the Glock 19. Watch the video. America! This is our 10 guns everybody should own video about the Glock 19. Why do we pick the Glock 19? This gun has pretty well become the standard handgun around the world. Lots of law enforcement, military people, all, all kinds of people the world over carry this gun. It's ultra reliable, it shoots really good. It's just all in all kind of an example of what a handgun should be. There are tons of fans for this gun. I'm a big fan of the 19, I own one myself. So I kind of eat my own dog food in that. Uh, it's one of the one of the more than 10 guns that I own, but it's uh, it's definitely one that, that I think is important. Why do we pick the 19 versus the 17 or the 26, which is the, the larger and smaller nine millimeter? This gun kind of lives in a size that is big enough to be a, an accurate gun that kind of controls recoil, but it's small enough to be carried. It sort of is the best of both worlds. That probably is why it is about the most popular regular size handgun that we sell. When I say regular size, I mean other than little tiny concealment guns. I think that this gun fits a niche for first time gun buyers. It's just all in all, it's, it is a great gun that kind of fits every box that, that a gun needs to fit. So that's why we put it on the list. Also, you're able to find just about any part that you could imagine for this gun. From the top down, you can get sights. There's guys that do a lot of custom slide work. People have uh, back pieces that go in here that have all kinds of things on them, Punisher skulls and words and whatever you could possibly imagine that goes in the back. Uh, there's every kind of aftermarket trigger, aftermarket guide rods, laser guide rods, everything you can imagine that would fit on this little rail on the bottom. There's all kinds of people doing stipples and grip mods, there's sleeves for the grips. You can put 15 round magazines in the 19 as a standard size, but they'll take the, stand, the, uh, the 17 size, which is the standard for the larger grip, or they've even got 33 rounds, uh, everything that you can imagine from a magazine perspective that you pretty much any type of part that you can think of you can find for this gun safeties and mag releases all that so that makes it nice as well that it's it's just easy to find pieces and parts for also we'll show that the gun is safe it is safe the gun is easily disassembled. It's good, uh, it's simple to clean. So it's easy for just a regular novice gun owner to maintain. So the way that we do this is there are these two little releases here that you uh, push down. So first you pull the trigger to release pressure off the firing mechanism. You push down on either side on that little uh, tab that sticks out. We pull it forward. That's the internals. Other than taking out the guide rod and the barrel, that is pretty well all it takes to fully disassemble a Glock. Of course, you could go further into it, taking the pieces out of the back there uh, in the grip or in the firing mechanism and all that, but uh, that's probably not the best idea unless you really know what you're doing. It does not require a ton of lubrication. It does not require a ton of cleaning. It does have a dual spring recoil system. They started this with the Gen 4s. Uh, the Gen 3 has a single spring recoil system. See if I can get that better into focus. Well, trying, trying. That is the dual spring system right there. It's spring over spring, uh, and it helps control some of the recoil of the gun. The new Gen 5s have a barrel that is supposed to have a more standard rifling in it that makes it more accurate than the prior generations. I suspect they are going to be canceling the Gen 3s out as they phase in the Gen 5 as the standard and, and use the Gen 4s as their secondary line. That's what they did with the Gen 4s and the Gen 3s. They phased out the Gen 2s. I don't have a lot of evidence on that. You might comment if you've read some other article or information about that. Me, it's just an assumption based on how they've changed the pricing structure and what they've done in the past. After disassembling, the gun has these small tabs here in the front and back. You just 
line that up with the slide and pull that into place and the gun reassembles and it's ready to rock and roll. That is the Glock 19. Oops, tripped over my trailer hitch back there. That is the Glock 19. Uh, as I said, this is kind of the standard against what all other handguns are judged. If you want more information on the comparison between the Gen 4 and the Gen 5, you can check out the other video that we did about that subject. It's worth watching. And last, we're going to transition now to go shoot this gun, and you can kind of check out how it runs. So what's a review video without shooting, right? So we're safe, so I can talk about it. Um, so this is a fun shooting little gun. It's uh, They're real light shooters, especially with this recoil system that it has. And so we're at a, you know, kind of a normal defensive range here, seven or eight yards out, something like that. And we're just going to shoot the target. I'm going to try to group it. We'll shoot some cans, uh, just kind of have a little fun with it and see how it goes. Oh, big pan explosion. One miss. All right, that's our magazine. So I may have even said in the past that a Glock is combat accurate, but I tell you, this is pretty good. I pulled some of this, this was my fault, but uh, I mean, that is a really good handgun group in general. Uh, so it's definitely an accurate gun. And then of course the nine millimeter, it's, uh, it's not lacking power to at least to blow our cans apart, right? So uh, that's a lot of fun. But uh, anyway, so there you go. They're shooting the Glock. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Everybody needs one of these, man. Go out and get one or you can go to our website, uh, MrGuns.com. You can get in touch with us to get one. Uh, we'd love to take care of you. But at any rate, uh, there you go. Glock 19, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all have a good one. Hey guys, it's Mr. Guns. Thanks for watching our video. If you thought it was cool, go ahead and like and subscribe. We should have a bunch of cool stuff coming in the future too. Uh, or follow us on Facebook and Instagram if you just want to get good gun deals or see what we got going on. The links will be in the descriptions below. So thanks for watching the video, and we hope you'll follow us in the future.